This is Doug Brunk for Global Medical News Network. Results from a large study provide new insight on how short-term and long-term glucose control impact the development of healthcare-associated bloodstream infections. Well, we found that short-term glucose levels of 110 milligrams per deciliter or higher were associated with healthcare-associated bloodstream infections when we included glucose measured on the day of the infection. However, when we looked at glucose measured two days before the infection, we found that there was no association. In addition, we found that long-term glucose, glucose control as measured by hemoglobin A1C was not associated with healthcare-associated bloodstream infections. Our findings suggest that associations between hyperglycemia and healthcare-associated bloodstream infection is likely due to the effect of the infection rather than a cause of it. This shows that sudden elevations in glucose can inform clinicians about a potential underlying healthcare associated bloodstream infection. Our findings suggest that lowering glucose level be below normal glycemic levels and poor long-term glucose control has limited impact on bloodstream um, infections. With that said, hypoglycemia and poor long-term glucose control have other serious consequences that should be taken seriously. Mm -hmm.